with what has been hailed as their best album, the Smiths' 1986 release, The Queen Is Dead, cemented the band as one of the most influential groups of the 80s. The Queen Is Dead really found them at the top of their game. Um, I mean, musically, Johnny really hit his stride. I mean, his guitar playing on that album is absolutely awesome. And, um, you know, Morris's pen um, has never been sharper. He just seemed to say absolutely everything that I wanted to hear. Yeah. All the time. He was like, he was like writing lyrics for you personally. Sweetness, sweetness, I was only joking when I said I'd like to mash it. The peak of the, the sound that we were known for was probably around about the time that the Queen is dead. We were very, very tight and very, very into it, and particularly at that time, there wasn't anything between us and the outside world. Take me out tonight. The Queen is dead is a Great, great album, you know. Just What's great, your favourite song on it, Norm? Um, I think There Is A Light That Never Goes Out. Is That's beautiful. There. To some people, that's like their favourite track. They just love that tune. It's a really gorgeous tune. We were just so inspired. We were really inspired and really buzzed up and we were never short of ideas. We just felt we were on a mission and we had a lot of passion, more, more so than arrogance and confidence. I can't really think of another sort of like British band who were, you know, we've sort of really given them a run for their money as, you know, the most important group around at that time. We felt like we did the jackpot when we made it, when we finished it. And, and then the reaction to it was like, uh, couldn't have been better.